go back to this next one. This song, because uh, you'll notice that summer is starting to peter out now and we're coming into an autumnal feel. And pretty soon it's going to be the time of year of bonfires and fireworks and Halloween and things like that. And you're very nice people, so this is a cautionary tale, this next song. I don't want the same thing to happen to you that happened to me last year. Because, you see, I was just driving around the M25 and I took a junction to the A2364 and then just at the second interchange where there were some strange woodlands, there seemed to be some trouble with my car. And the problem is this. My car had broken down in a dodgy part of town and I wasn't really fearing until I stumbled to a clearing. The music there was shocking and the trees, no, the music wasn't shocking, it was rocking, but the scene was truly shocking. It seemed I'd wandered into a groovy horror movie. It was witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was Halloween, and I had never been somewhere so creepy. There were zombies, black cats, and vampire bats. It was freaky. There were cobwebs on the candlesticks, and weird supernatural chicks performing witchcraft. Druids drinking fluids that possessed the soul of anyone who tasted. And like a fool, I drank the potion which affected my emotion. I was wasted. <laughs> then I saw her in the mystical dress, and she cast a spell of lustfulness. It was witchcraft. <laughs> ah, witchcraft. No man could have ignored her as she beckoned me toward her. I was helpless and totally consumed. I was trying to resist her, but I couldn't, so I kissed her. Now I'm doomed, doomed, doomed. Now we rave hard in the graveyard doing lewd voodoo to woo you. It's so frightful. She's got tricks you won't believe. Tucked up her wizard sleeve, which are delightful. <laughs> it's a slaughter on the altar, doing things we shouldn't alter. A temptation situation with no salvation. It's witchcraft. 